Welcome back to the English virtual class. In my previous session, I have given a peek into the story Footprints Without Feet written by H. G. Wells. We have understood that the main character of the story is the scientist Mr. Griffin. He invents a method of uh, making himself invisible by swallowing some red drops. The present lesson describes the episodes that take place because of his invisibility. Okay, today I'm going to take up the theme, title and characters in detail. Coming to the theme of the story, Footprints Without Feet brings out the misery of a brilliant scientist who adopts a lawless path upon turning invisible. His aspiration of unequaled power remains unfulfilled when he becomes homeless and has to wander hungry, cold, and utterly miserable. He eventually regrets his decision as it gets alienated from society. Coming to the title of the story, the title is Footprints Without Feet. So it is a story of the scientist who turns himself invisible. He is penniless and due to this becomes a homeless wanderer. He is forced to roam naked in the biting cold as wearing clothes makes him visible. He is lonely, hungry and without shelter. This section from H. G. Wells' novel describes his miserable condition and how his footprints give him away on one occasion and is aptly titled. Coming to the character sketches, at first, the main character of the story, that is Griffin. He is a scientist with flawed brilliance. That is, he never abided the laws and he had, you know, cheated on his landlord and tried to, you know, steal money. He never used his invention for a right path. He discovers a formula for turning the human body invisible and tries it on himself. He feels powerful as an invisible man and sets his landlord's house on fire. He goes about stealing things and harming people, but his life becomes lonely and miserable. He has to stay naked in the biting cold. He is homeless, hungry and penniless. He is forced to run from everywhere like a petty criminal. Coming to She is the owner of the local inn at Iping, where Griffin stayed after he fled from London. She is a sharp woman with strong business acumen and is happy to receive Griffin as he paid her cash without bargaining. She puts up with his eccentric ways for the money she gets from him. She is su superstitious as she is convinced that her furniture is haunted by spirits. She is also courageous as she does not hesitate to confront Griffin and ask him to explain his mysterious behavior. Coming to the last character, Jaffers. Mr. Jaffers is the village constable who is sent for to arrest Griffin. He is surprised when he arrives as he doesn't know how to arrest a headless man. But Mr. Jaffers is not the kind of man to digress from the path of duty. He is brave and proceeds to arrest Griffin with or without head. He struggles with Griffin even though he cannot see him and fights as best as he can. So, we understand that Griffin was a lawless person though he was you know, a very a good and not good, uh, you know, a very uh, talented scientist. He was not actually a true scientist as he misused a scientific discovery. A true scientist always works for the betterment of the people. He does something useful for mankind by making new discoveries and inventions. Whereas Griffin was a lawless person. He cannot be called a true scientist 
He sets a house on fire and loots a shopkeeper and steals cash from clergyman's desk. So he's more of a thief or a robber. He may be a brilliant scientist, but not a good human being. So we should understand that when we have some power within us, when we have some talent within us, we should always use it for the right purpose. We should always use it to serve mankind, but not to just cheat or, you know, uh, it should not be harmful or dangerous to mankind. With this, I'm going to end today's session, children, and I will be back with you uh, in my next video. Till then, goodbye.